and legs apart. Inhale up. And slowly exhale down. Pull the abdomen in. Inhale up. Exhale down. That's one. Slowly up. Use the breath and movement together. And what you guys are looking for is to bring the arms in alignment with your ears right to about here and slowly down. And this is three. Come back down. The top of the legs are active. The neck is long. This is four. As I exhale down. And this is five. As I exhale down. I bring my rib cage together. And this is six. Perfect Kiko. And seven. Feel the scapula working. The shoulder blades. This is eight. And you don't get the neck nine. Excellent, guys. And 10. Now hold it at the top. Pull the abdomen in. And this is a little bit of yoga to the side. And pull the abdomen in. Come back to center as you exhale. And in. Nice. That was beautiful, Marley. Like your adjustment. Two. Slowly. Three. Legs slightly apart. And four, which is the adjustment that uh, Marilyn made. And five. Perfect. You guys are all done. Good. And six. Go slow. Slow. And nine. Guys, uh, you guys are good. And slowly ten. And slowly back to center. From here, make fifth. Contract the abdomen, rotate the neck, release the neck, the upper trapezius for five, for four, contract the abdomen for three, for two, for one, and gently reverse, contract for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Okay, good. So let's work on your posture a little bit, okay? So take the right hand, place it on top of the the pole. By the way, this pole, this idea, it, it's from uh, a martial arts core called uh, Arnis de Mano from the Philippines, okay? So this is where some of these movements in terms of the pole, this is where I got the idea from. You go back here and it, it's like, oh, that was beautiful. That's beautiful, guys. Beautiful. Go straight up, straight up, straight up. Good. We do. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We do intent. Notice how the shoulder blades goes back. That's three. And exhale down. You gently contract and come back up. That's four again. Contract. Here we go. Oh, that's five. Guys, guys, look good. Keep going. This is what it looks like. And six. Looking for that alignment. And abdomen is in, looking for that alignment. Seven. Oops. Eight. Excellent, excellent, everyone. Eight again. Oh, yes, yes, good. And nine. The technique itself is from uh, a Yenga yoga, and this is 10. And boom, or wall yoga. Okay, abdomen is in. Slowly, I want to do my other hand. Slowly pull abdomen in. Notice how your scapula goes down. Perfect, guys. Good. See, I have one hand under the other. Two. There. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Excellent. And three. Good alignment. Ears over the shoulders. Inhale here. Exhale. Four, good. Contract, elongate the neck. Five. And up. Six. And up. Seven. Excellent, good. Three more, please. 
eight. Yes. Good. So I gently push with my bottom hand slightly. That's nine. One more, please. And 10. Good. So that was towards the back. Another variation is to go sideways. You go this way. Yeah. Good. And notice that for the most part, the hand is aligned, it's in line with the shoulder. You can bring it up a little bit higher. Uh, I like to bring it in alignment with the shoulder. Good. So you guys notice I'm going to my right. Look at that alignment. You're awesome, Keiko. There you go. Good. So if possible, go here in alignment. There you go. That's about four, all the way up to 10. And five. Good. So notice that my hand is right here, not so high. It is right here. Yeah, not, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And six. That was beautiful. Wonderful, uh, Kiko. Good alignment. Eight. Look at Marilyn, you're awesome. That's what I was talking about. And nine. Good. And one more, guys. Ten. Perfect. If you think of the, I think it's called the Chromium Man, uh, the Da Vinci, the, the, the painting, where you have all the figures. So that's the one we're looking for. The one that's right here. Perfect. That's what I'm talking about. Good. And two. Yes, we're looking for that alignment. And three. Good. Looking for that precision. And contract. Four. Stand tall. Beautiful. Excellent. And five. Yes. And six. Excellent. Seven, excellent, everyone. Eight, yes, Brenda, you're awesome. Nine, you guys are with it. Perfect, you guys. And 10, excellent, excellent, good. So let's bring the shoulders back again. So I have an underhand grip. And notice my elbows are... Uh, um, against my, my rib cage. Actually, I want, I want my elbows are against my rib cage, but I want the arms a little bit out. So watch here. It's like the, we call it the praying mantis, but we bring the hands together. In this one, the hands are apart. Okay, so it's a variation of the praying mantis, but he, this one, the hands are apart. You pull the abdomen in and notice what's going to happen to your scapula now. Go here, make a good fit, and keep going back, going back, and bring the pole the scream and stick all the way up to the crown of the head and come back down. Good, you're going up to, uh, I think they call it the coronal plane, the frontal plane, like so. And back. Pull abdomen in and bring the, 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 the pole, the stick, down to the crown of the head. And keeping the elbows in when you come back down, yeah. Because the idea is to lift your chest up, perfect. Uh, that's about four. Here we go. I like how you're going slow kick up. Excellent. Five. Back down with control. And six. Yes, yes, bring that. Bend your elbows. Notice, bend the elbows. Seven. Yes, good. Make sure you're not going too far. Eight. Two more. This is to, for your posture to improve your posture. Nine. And 10. Good. Another variation of the same exercise. You do it. You can also do it with an overhand grip. And the hands go outside the pole. And this one is called the zipper. So from here, the, you come up. Exactly. The elbows go out. Right, everyone? You see, the elbows stay out this time. The elbows stay out, um, kick this one. So now the elbows go out. Yes, like wings, right? You go here, out. Perfect. It's like you zipper up. The three, excellent. Inhale, exhale, four, all the way up to 10. Elbows stay out, 
the stick um, is uh, active and this is fixed. You bring it to about the sternum, up to, up to the color, uh, yeah, the sternum, the cyphoid process. And if, good. So not so much up to the neck, right up to here. You feel the, your chest, your upper back um, lifting. And one more after this, go here and lift from, you keep it here. What I want you guys to do here, get the idea that you guys are going to um, bring the elbows from here, bring the elbows down and then come back up. Bring the elbows down. Perfect. Elbows back up. It's almost you get the feeling. You want to be careful in here, though. You want to get the feeling like you're going to snap the, the scream of stick in two. Yes. Good. And four. And five. And six. Excellent. And seven. Yes. And eight. Yes. Good. This is also good for the wrist. And nine. And send and slowly back down. Now, next exercise is from a martial art called Bojutsu. And in Bojutsu, the staff is a little bit longer like the one I have here. Legs apart. We're going to do it here without moving, though. You go um, without striking um, my glass here. So you come back up, slow motion is what it looks like. And then you go and you hit to the side. So this is more like a mobility exercise for the shoulders. Two. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Yes, and inhale, inhale, exhale. Yes, inhale, inhale, exhale. Good. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Good. And now add a little bit of juice here. One, up, here, up, one, all the way to 10. Is Two, a little bit of juice here. Three, want to warm you guys up here. Four, yes, Brenda. Five, there you go. Six, there you go. I oh, love it, you did. Seven, each. Eight, each. Nine, each. Ten, good. Okay, last one here, and then we hit the mat. Okay, you go here, bend your knees. And this is from Qigong. You pull the abdomen in and you turn the spine. You turn the spine for one, all the way up to 10. You slowly, you bend your knees, you turn the spine for two. This is the massage internal organs. And three, this is the soft martial art now. And four. And five. Here, the power comes from within. And five again. All the way to 10. And six. You inhale and you gently massage internal organs to move the spine. Work the blitz. Seven. Oof. Eight. And nine. And slowly. 10, come back to center and slowly come back, come back. Okay, we only have about half hour left. Let's get down on the mat with control. Let me hydrate just a tiny bit. Okay. Let's stretch a little bit here. Keep the pole next to you. And we're also going to use the ball later. Okay. From here, legs apart. And gently walk your fingers forward five times and slowly back. 
stretching the back of the legs and the low back. Ready? This is five. Slowly come back. Beautiful, guys. Four. Slowly come back. And three. Stretching the back of the legs. And two. Come back. And one. And come back. Good. Bring the elbow up. The right hand out. Bend the elbow. Contract the abdomen. And stretch. For five. Uh, Dorsi flex your toes. Four. Good. For three. For two. For one. Perfect. Bend the elbows. Contract. Right the needle. Abdomen is in. Beautiful, Yuji. Excellent. For three. For two. For one. Good. Place the hands both on your knees. Rotate the neck for five. Four. For three. For two. For one. Excellent. Shoulders tap. You're beautiful. Excellent. That's excellent. Kick off. Hold it for uh, reverse. Reverse it for three. For two. For one. Then stretch a few more times. Palm is up. Contract the abdomen. Go here. And stretch. Good. Good. Hold it for five. Oh, you go. For four. For three, for two, for one. Abdomen is in. Inhale. And the other side. Good. Work it. Good. I'm determined to keep my flexibility until I'm 70, 71, 72. Hold it for three. And two. And one. Come back here. Take the left hand. Place it in front of the sternum. Take the right hand behind the spine and do a gentle twist, lifting up. Yes, I love it. Love it, Kiko. I love that move. Hold it for three. Yes. Oh, for two. And slowly contract the abdomen. Good. Release. Now the right hand is in front. Inhale. Lift up. Lifting the spine up. Lifting your spirits. For three. For two. For one, and slowly back to center. Gently bring the legs back in. So this exercise is from judo, from tatami water. And this is also for the midline. So from here, I pull the abdomen in, and I go to my right side, and I want to hold it. I want to hold it. I want to squeeze my abdomen. For five, yeah, four, contract for three, and two. And gently contract as you exhale. And pull the abdomen in, and you go to another side. Excellent. Excellent, Brenda. And hold it for four. For three, squeeze that abdomen. For two. For one. And come back. Good. Another variation of that exercise, also from the martial arts. This is from Tantology. Very similar to the saw in Pilates. Very similar. You go here. You pull the abdomen in. And you contract the abdomen and you go to one side and you go one, two, and come back to center. I pull the abdomen in, inhale, boom, boom. That's eight. Contract. That's number eight. And lengthen, contract. That's seven. Good. And the legs are down. And six. Good. Toes are back. And five, lengthen to the arms. And four, work the middle. Three, good. Ish. Two, and one. Beautiful. Bring the pumps here. Toes are back. Go here and go here. One, two. That's five. Counting down. One, two. That's four. Contract, one, two, that's three. Inhale, exhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, exhale, one. Now from here, make two fists. And this is very similar to a karate punch, okay? Very similar to the thaw, except you punch straight forward. And this is also for your midline. 
So notice that I'm going to point with my left. I rotate my palm or my right palm, and I want to look back. One, two, and back. Contract. One, two, and back. This is for your midline here. One, two, and back. That's 10. And nine. And eight. It's like you're going to do double jab. So straight punch forward. And six, come back. And five. And four. Contract. And three, squeeze your midline. Usha. And two. And one, and come back. Perfect. Bring the legs. Let me, let's do a round back first before I do the next one. Extend through your arms. Bring the base of the spine forward and slowly come back here and pop it. One, two, come back up. One, two. Excellent. Four. Lengthen. Three. Abdomen is in. Nice. Isha. Two. One. Now bring the legs together. Pull the abdomen in. Go to the side. That's one. Bring it up. Contract. Go to the side. Bring it up. That's two. All the way up to ten. Contract. Turn. Good. Follow your fingers. And four. Contract. And five. Good. Lengthen through the arm. Lengthen. And six. Ish. Squeeze the core. Seven again. Feet are down if possible. Eight. Ish. Ninth. Last one. Ten. Now hands here. Pull up the many and back. One, two, five. Round your back. Flat back forth. Round your back. Three. Yeah, almost done. Kick off. Ish. Two. Ish. One and come back. Good. Let's do one more here and then we stretch again with the with the pole with the stick. Pull up the menage right from the hip. Okay. Inhale here. Come back up and up. And now press down. That's one. All the way up to ten. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale here. Two. Inhale. Lengthen. Stretch in the back, your low back. Three, press down. Ish. Four. Ish. Up. Five, lifting your chest up. Working your thoracic. Six. Good. Contract the abdomen. This is seven. Contract. Eight. Good, Kiko, you may use your Pilates circle uh, uh, or yoga belt for the next move. One more, ish, up, and press out and in, perfect, good. Take your pole, pull the abdomen in, and this is hard of us because I'm wearing a brace, so this is kind of hard. <laughs> okay, and for those of you that don't have a brace too, <laughs> use your circle uh, or a yoga belt. You you need to kick out your awesome. Okay, here we go. And pull the abdomen in and slowly up, lengthen, lengthen, and slowly bring it back in. Oh, all the way up to ten. This is two, back in, and this is three. Good, back in, working with wood, up. Four, up, five, we'll keep lengthening through the back heel. And six, we're gonna hold it at the top. This is hard. Seven, yeah, eight, good. But I have not seen many 70 year olds, mid 70s, stretch like the way you guys stretch. And hold it here, hold it. Hold it. Perfect. Oh, you oh. Lengthening the leg is possible. Only if it's possible, Marilyn. Extend the leg. And then, uh, uh, Brenda, you, you saw also. Good. 
Good. Not many 70 year old, mid 70s, can stretch like, oh, perfect, UJ. Oh, you go. Hold it for three, for two, for one. With control, bend your knee. Oh, my God. You guys are amazing. Woo. Okay. Dorsey flex back. Pull the abdomen. And you guys are an inspiration for me. Okay. Good. Now, slowly, start stretching slowly. Here we go. Excellent, Kiko. Good. Abdomen is in. Two. Make sure you have guys have your shoulder blades down. Okay. Abdomen is in. Three. Abdomen is in. Four. Abdomen is in. Five. See? Asia. Six. Yes. Perfect, Kiko. Eight. Yes. Inhale, contract the abdomen. Ninth. Okay, we're going to hold it at the top. Okay, here we go, guys. Boom, 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 boom. And let me see how much if I can match you guys. Ah, there we go. I'm lengthening through my back heel. Good. I'm pushing the stick away from me with my foot, and I'm pulling with my hands. My abdomen is in. Excellent. Hold it for five. For four. For three. For two. For one. And slow and control. Beautiful. Perfect. Perfect. Good job. Okay. Put the stick to the side. Take your mini ball. And it's time for some ab work. Take the ball. Place it between the inner thigh. Place the hand. Bring your feet as close as possible. I cannot bring in my left leg because I am wearing a brace. Okay. Um. Elbows out, squeeze the ball. Chin is on your sternum. Bring the base of the spine towards the front and slowly come back up. Very similar to chest flip of Pilates. You contract, good. Boxers tend to do a lot of abdominal work. In tooth, and many martial artists too, but mostly boxers, three. You inhale, you exhale, four. Good. Squeeze the ball, squeeze the abdomen, and that contraction is what's lifting your chest up. Five. Shoulder blades off the mat. Six. Good. Contract the abdomen, elongate the, the spine. Seven again. You inhale, press your feet down on the mat as if you were going to stand up. Eight. And nine and ten. Now hold it at the top, bring the right leg in, take the left leg, extend the left leg, contract the abdomen, extend the arms, and pulse it at the top. Squeeze. And yeah, you, you're good, guys. And one and two. Come down, then go up. And three, working on the abdomen. And four. Yeah. And five, squeeze that ball. And six. We're going to do the other leg, then we take a break after that. And seven. Isha. Eighth. Good. Bring the sternum down to the belly button. And ninth. And ten. Slowly bend the left leg. Extend through the right leg. Squeeze the ball. This is your last 30 here, guys. Then we take a break. And slowly up. And here we go. And one. Contract. Bring the ribcage together. And two. Woo and three. You guys are strong. And four. You inhale, you exhale up. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. And nine. And ten. With control, come back down. Gently lower the leg. Take the ball. Place it behind the head. And slowly bring the legs in as much as possible. And gently do circles with your nose for five. Massage the back of the neck for four. This is really good to stretch the neck muscle and some of your facial muscles for three. Keep going for two. Good, and now gently reverse it. Contract the abdomen first. And small movements are better, guys. Four and three and two. 
and one. Perfect. Okay, let's work on your spine one more time. Then we go back to the uh, oblique, to the uh, abdomen. Go here on your side. Point your toe. This hand is very active. So this hand is important. You want the spine to be straight. You put the abdomen in and bring both legs up and slowly down. So take the bottom leg, lift the bottom leg, uh, push uh, the ball with the bottom leg. Here we go. And emphasize also the top, all the way up to 10. Ready? One, back down, and two, back down, and three, back down. Abdomen is in, and four, back down. Beautiful. The body is straight. If I'm looking from, from up there, my ears, my shoulders, my hips, my, my knee, my ankle are in a straight line. Perfect. You're looking for that alignment. And five again. You inhale, you contract. That's awesome, Marilyn. And seven. Good job, guys. And eight. Abdomen is in. And nine. And ten. Now, before we do the other side, bring the legs slightly to the front. Pull the abdomen in and let's work those awesome obliques and some more hips. And one, this arm is active, the top arm. And two, and three, good job, guys. And four, you guys may feel now the inside of the leg, right? Yeah, good. And five again. Control the movement coming down. There you go, much better. Control the movement coming down. Seven, and eight. So you do not go up, then come down. You go slowly up, you slowly down. And eight, whew, and nine, perfect. And 10, that was beautiful kickoff. Okay, the other side, please. Whew. So now the top hand is very active. You can use the other hand as a pillow, okay, if you wish. My body is straight. So if I'm looking at myself from the top, my ears, my shoulders, my hip, my knee and my ankle are very at, um, in alignment and pull the abdomen in. Gently squeeze the ball. Yeah, Brenda, good job. Here we go. One, three, shot. And two. Good, good alignment, Brenda. And three. And four. Good alignment. And five. Yes. And point your, your toes. That will engage the inner thighs. I think that's six. Oof. And seven. And eight. Oof. And nine. Small movements were very effective. And ten. And slowly, banana shape now. Here we go. And up. There you go. <laughs> And two, <laughs> squeeze the ball. Three, good. And four. And five, good. Excellent, Kiko. Yes, oh, good job. Seven again, Ooh, contract. Eight. And nine. And then slowly down. Good. Get a gulp of water, guys, if you the guys need to. And then we continue to work your abdomen. So grab your stick. Keep the ball where you have it. Keep the ball where you have it and grab your stick or your Pilates circle. So from here, let's work your obliques. I contract the abdomen and I go to the side. So I do not want to bring the stick here. I want to bring the stick away from me. The reason I want to bring the stick away from me is so that I can lift my shoulder blade. You see that? I want my shoulder blade off the mat. Okay? Okay, here we go. We're doing 10. Abdomen is in. So the stick is... Um, Parallel, okay? Horizontal. And then you go and it's vertical now. Yeah. Good. Your arms are very active. Ready? One. Good. You're using, perfect, guys. You're using the obliques to be, oh. 
You guys are good. Here we go. One, center, contract. Two, you're looking for the spiral in the body. And three, good. You're looking for that rotation. Four, you inhale, you exhale. Five, and six. There you go. And seven, yes. And eight. And in this one, you want the mood. The mood in the body is like a warrior mentality. Here we go. Eight again. And ninth. Inhale, exhale. Ten. Good. So you want to bring that warrior part of you here. Okay, here we go. Slowly turn. Almost as if you were striking behind you. Two. Oh, I love it, Kiko. Here we go. Isha. One. All the way up to ten. Contract. Squeeze. Look for the spiral. Three. Yeah. And four. And squeeze. Five. Good. And squeeze. Six. Excellent. Squeeze. Seven. Yes. And Risha. Eight. And ninth. And ten. Last one here. Elbows are out. This is exactly what you got this earlier. But this time you, you go here and come back up. Here, almost like as if you were striking or, or doing like a bench press kind of. Bend the elbows and then straighten the elbows. Yes, good. This is for your chest and your shoulders. One and back. And there's a little bit of a push with the, with the pole, with the scream stick. Ready? Two. You inhale, you exhale. Three. And four. And five. And strike six. And seven. And eight, we have two more, uh, two more after this. Nine and 10, slowly come back down, rotate the head from side, from left to right, stretching the back of the neck for three, for two, for one. Okay, good. Now bring the left leg up, contract the abdomen. And here, elbows are out, Bring the hands towards the outside of your staff, your pole, and slowly come back up. Oh, I love it, Marilyn. And slowly back down. Ready? One. And stay up. Two. Stay up. Three. Push. Push with the staff. Four. Elbows out. Push. Five. Push. Six. Push. Seven. Push. Eight. Push, nine, push, 10. Now switch leg. Again, last 10, here we go. Each up, one, push, two, inch, three, good. Four, abdomen is in, five, push the stick out, five again, six, and seven, and eight, and nine, ish, and ten, and with control, bring the head down. Okay, we're done with the with the pole with the uh, scream a stick. Put it to the side. Take the ball, place it behind the head, and one more time. Um, rotate the, your nose, massage the back of the neck, massage your facial muscles, your neck muscles. For three, you want to tone those muscles. For two, for one. And gently reverse it, small circle, rotate, massage the back of the neck for three, for two, and one, beautiful. Good, so that technique basically is from massage therapy, right, from body work. Okay, so now take the mini ball, place it under the, the, your, the small of your back, and we have about seven minutes left, and let me, bring up your, hit you guys up again. 
pull the abdomen in, you can keep the hands down or behind the head and let's do the bicycle. Be careful with your knee, um, everyone, most of us, and go for 10, for nine, for eight, for seven, for six, for five, four, and three, and two, and one. Now bring the legs down, pull the abdomen in, and leg circles. And down, leg circles. And here we go. 10, contract, nine, leg circle, eight, inhale, exhale, seven, eight, six, good. Point your toes, and five, and four, and three, working that also abdomen, and two, and bring the legs down, contract, come back up, and leg circles again. Inhale, exhale, nine, inch, eight, long legs, seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one, bring the heels together. And it's hard for me to do it because I have a brace on my left leg. But you guys that can keep the leg, the heels together and do the frog kick out. Good. Abdomen is in. Bring the heels as close as possible to uh, your hips. And then extend out and lengthen through the heels. That's nine. Inhale, lengthen. Eight. And lengthen. Seven. Good. Abdomen is in. Then lengthen. Six. Good, um, tabletop, and then go straight out. From tabletop, go straight out. Six, yeah, perfect. And five, contract the abdomen before extending the leg. Keep the abdomen contracted, bring the leg back in. And four, back, three, back, two, back, one. Now, single leg, abdomen is in. Contract, tabletop, you go here one and two. And you want to do inhale and exhale. Ready? And 10 and nine and eight, tabletop and seven, contract and six, contract and five. We're going to do it again. And four. And three, and two, and one. And slowly contract the abdomen. Cross your legs and do a little bit of Roomba. For four, for three. You can adjust the ball anytime, two. And gently reverse it for three, and two, and one. Good. So listen to this tip. In terms of single leg, you can do inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, or you can do inhale, exhale, okay? Pick your medicine. Here we go, last 10. Boom. Inhale and exhale. And nine, long legs. Eight, long legs. And seven, long legs. And six, we're doing double leg after this. Uh, double leg. Uh, double leg lift and five and back and four and back and three and back and two and back and one and back and from here bring the leg uh, your, uh, the head down abdomen is in contract the abdomen gently bring the, your chin to your sternum bring the legs down pull the abdomen in and up Heels are down, point your toes up. This is your last one. Ready? Each, ten, each, nine. Use the abdomen to lift the legs up. Eight, seven. Ooh, you perfect. <laughs> seven again. Six, strong abdomen. Five, each, legs together. Four, Contract the abdomen to come up. Three. And two. And one. Good. Tabletop. 
Good, slowly bring your feet down. Slowly lift your hips up. Remove the ball. And perfect. Place the ball behind the typical bone, the back of the head. And slowly rotate the neck. And we're done, guys. Thank you. Four, five. Good. So now you guys can begin to relax. Four, four. My abdomen is in. Four, three. And two. And one. And gently reverse. Four, five. Four, four. Good. Four, three. Keep going. Four, two. Four, one. Excellent. Beautiful. With control, keep your chin in with control. Come back up. You can turn to the right side and come back up. Bring the legs up. Nice, Marilyn. Good job. Yes, good. Extend through the palm, right palm is up. Inhale here and slowly come back up. And this time we're going to hold it and hold it for five. Good. Hold it for four. Hold it for three. Hold it for two. Hold it for one. Put the abdomen in, inhale here, and then walk the left out and contract the abdomen and lengthen. Lengthen, you guys. I'm impressed with your flexibility. For five. Four. Good. For three. And two. And one. And back to center. Place the hands on the front of your knees. And slowly rotate the neck. And slowly, baby, soft eyes. Okay? Your eyes are soft. For four. Bring your shoulders back. For three. And two. And one. And gently reverse. Four. Four, three. And two. And one. Beautiful. Good. So you guys, I have... Um, a knee here that, that is supported so I cannot bring my legs in. But you guys can fold your legs if you guys want, okay? I'm going to keep my legs out. I have a brace here which doesn't allow me to bring my legs in. So bring your shoulder, the back, the, the upper torso is straight. Bring the shoulders back. I love your sitting, guys. Thank you. Good. Bring your shoulders back. Your eyes are baby soft, okay? And slowly you want to begin to relax the forehead your eyebrows, see if you can find a smile, relax your smiling muscles, your three and two and one, and gently reverse it for three, for two and one, good. It takes more effort to frown than to smile. <laughs> yeah, we, we need to use more muscles to frown than to smile, so it's better to smile, okay? And it's also it's good for the complexion. Okay, so again, elongate through the neck and do small circles with the nose. Very small circles. Relaxing the little muscles around your eyes for three. And find a smile inside you for two. And stop and then gently reverse it. Small circles with your nose for three. Your eyes are very soft for two. For one and stop in the middle. Yeah, I remember now I just came to mind just one of my yoga teachers a long time ago. It's, it's, you can always see it in her eyes, you know, when she, right before she was teaching, you can see the glow in the eyes. So we transmit a lot through the way we use our eyes. So those exercises are important. Okay, so keep the legs crossed if you wish. We are done. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. Inhale up. Press out. Thank you for taking time of your day to practice. Inhale up. Bring the palm of the hand to the crown of the head. Bring the crown of the head down to the heart center and work with both. Namaste. Thank you.